everyone, we're back with another Valentine's Day craft, and we're going to be doing some glassware. And I'm going to show you how to do a couple different things. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how to make a stencil um, that we're going to be using in this project. And um, I have a roll of contact paper, which is you, you can buy this by the shelf liners usually at the big box stores like a Walmart or a Target. And what I'm going to do is let me clean this off. I drew a couple hearts on a piece of paper. And I'm going to, and you can do any design that you want, but I want to do hearts for Valentine's Day. And I'm going to trace them right onto the contact paper. And once you have it traced on, you want to cut it out. You want to protect the surface that you're cutting on and you're going to take a craft knife, knife or exacto knife and what you want to do is just cut out the hearts. And you do want to be neat about cutting out the hearts because this is going to be your stencil. And there it is. So what you're going to want to do, what the product that I'm using is Martha Stewart's and it's a pearl glass paint. Now this glass paint is one that we can put in the oven and you go under her website and it'll give you the full directions and when once you bake it and everything it can go into the the top rack of the dishwasher. You don't have to hand wash this even. So that's that's always nice. So we're going to start with the wine glass. And what we're going to do is we're going to peel off The backing. Okay, and once we have the backing off, we're going to place it on the glass. And I've cleaned the, the glass so there won't be any fingerprints on there. And if you can see it, I have it on there and I'm going to rub it down just a little bit, not too much. Okay, and I'm going to put some of the glass paint onto just this parchment paper that I have. And I'm going to take a little bit on a stencil brush and I'm going to rub it in. And I'm going to stencil right on the glass. And all I'm doing is stippling it right on there going straight down. And then when you have it the way you like, carefully peel it off. And here you have these cute hearts on your glass. And you can go to the other side and do the same thing. So there we go. Here's the other side. So we got the two sides with the hearts. And I'm going to put that aside for a minute. And we're going to do the same thing on the beer mug. Now some guys might not like this, but I would think that they could suck it up for one day a year. And who says the beer mug can't be for a girl either? So I'm going to do the same thing and just stencil it right on there. Now with the same red paint, you know, you could do a lot of other things. And I really would like to give these hearts a little bit of definition. So what I'm going to do is being careful of the other side, I'm going to just outline it with the red. Okay, and there they are outlined. And then you could even put like the dots on there because the background is lighter and there are the hearts with the dots on it and I'm going to repeat the same thing on this other side. Now you can add all kinds of different um, swirls on there, hearts on there, leave them like this. You can write love across the side. Um, you can do anything. Um, you could do red. You can add a little black for a little spice to it. When you get it all painted and decorated, I threw some black glass paint on there as well. And I just did some swirls and polka dots and squiggles and stuff like that. Leave it, just set it aside to dry because you can't put it into the oven until it's dry. And then go to town on the other one. The glasses are all finished and they've been in the oven and now they can be put in the dishwasher and you don't have to hand wash it. And I kind of went to town, I just had some fun, I did the hearts with some polka dots and on the one side I have love and the other side always. And then 
um, I did a little red band and uh, on the bottom I did some like swirlies and squiggles and I just kept with the red and black to keep with the valentine -y looking theme and then I did the same with the beer mug and I had love always and then I just did some stripes and stuff like that so and I did some on the handle polka dots and stripes just to have fun with it so hope you like it hope you give it a try um, happy Valentine's Day. It would be cute to break out for your Valentine's meal. And remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Happy crafting and thank you for watching.